Hello, my name is uh, Stephen Rampabana. I am from Lipalale in Limpopo. Uh, the challenges that brought me in to Charis Missionary Church was the issue of family, uh, especially towards my siblings, and um, the issue of relationships and marriage, and uh, also career-wise uh, problems where I'm working. So with uh, the problem with my siblings, um, we are four in my mother's side, and I'm the only one who has done well in career-wise, and I'm working, but the rest of my siblings are not working, and they've been depending on me, and they've been becoming a burden to me. And uh, the two girls, they have children that I'm also supporting. So I've been worried about it, praying that they also should uh, prosper in their lives. And also all of them have failed metric and have been struggling to finish their metric. Um, so yes, I came here for God to intervene in that situation. Um, the problem of um, relationships, um, I've been struggling to to know uh, whether I should uh, marry the people that I date. I have before tried to date someone and then it didn't end well. So this whole time I've been saying and praying that God must intervene. If I see someone, at least um, I must hear the mind of God about them. They have There's been someone which I've been in doubt about and then I decided to come and hear the mind of God about it. And then the third problem of um, the workplace there's been changes in the places the place i'm working in and that has affected me and i have been thinking about moving out of the place and i thought before i do that i just need to speak and hear the mind of god about it because it's a major decision about moving out of town um during a group session uh, prophet andres uh, located me and then he said, um, I must look, uh, take the issue of land serious. There's many vacant lands where I am in my town that I must uh, buy land and I invest into property, which is something that I've thought about before, but I never took it serious. I just saw people building and then I thought maybe I should also have something like that. Um, so yeah, I confirm the prophecy uh, to be true. Brother, you want to buy property? Yes, but not anytime soon. Yeah, but How can you? Not anytime soon, but in the future. Mm, I'm sure there will be a house, but here in Haute. Yes, that's where I want to move. There will be a house here. And the issue of property, it won't end there. It won't end. There are more properties that are to come. Which to me, I feel like even where you are, you want to build a rental place uh, about issues of the land and where you can buy a stand. Yes, yes. Huh? It's true. Mm. So that's what I see. And I believe Jesus will help you with that. Yes, because you say, I need to find a place to buy a build small apartments yes. or rooms yes. <coughs> and put people there. Yes. It's coming. Yes. It's very tough. Jesus will make sure that it works. Thank you. You must not worry. Um, during my one-on-one -on -one with Prophet Andres, um, he talked about again the issue of land that i must buy land and then build properties for rental in the town where i am and also he sees that i'm doubting especially with the lady that i'm with i'm doubting whether it's god's plan for her to be in my life and he encourages me to continue with her and give her a chance because he thinks the lady actually not thinks <laughs> the spirit of the lord says i must give her a chance and um there's nothing she's a prayerful woman and she's a kind lady 
Um, yes. So I confirm the prophecy to be true because I have seen that side about her. She's a prayerful person. She's a kind woman. She's very strong and uh, and humble. Yes. And then he continued to talk about um, the issue about my siblings. He says he does see that my siblings are struggling. They are not working, all of them. They are not finishing school. And um, they are burdening me. And my mom has been praying. When he's sitting there, he said he had my mom's prayer that all her, her children must uh, prosper. And uh, also, they have, my siblings and I have been struggling with the issue of marriage and relationships. And then he says my mom has been praying about it also, that we must all get married and uh, prosper. And he also went on to say that um, he sees God moving me from where I'm working to Gauteng, which has been uh, in my mind for a long time, because I think I've overstayed in the town where I'm working. Um, so yes, he sees, he sees in the future that I must come to Gauteng, and that's where God will bless me. I am happy that God actually located what was in my heart. And even the things that I took a bit light about, he actually went deep and then make them, make them, he brought them to light into my attention. And I'm happy that he's going to deliver my siblings, which has been my prayer for a very long time. And they, they will relieve me from the support that I have to give to the family. So yeah, I feel very happy about it. And also the issue of my marriage, uh, knowing that uh, this is the right partner, it will ease a lot of things about this. And I have to start preparing towards uh, marriage. Um, I would encourage everyone who's watching this to always seek the mind of God about everything, whether small or big, always seek the mind of God. Um, because sometimes we take decisions thinking we are on our own, like we make terrible decisions even when we think we are doing the right thing. So always think, think the mind of God.